All right, guys, it's the one and only drill instructor Mike with specialist Kelvin Amaya, AKA me, Saint Mike, plumber Mike. I'm just like God, I'm like a God for tolerating this guy right here. All right, we are here working on a Burnham P208. All right, 232,000 gross net B, uh, BTUs. We're gonna do our seasonal tune-up on this boiler. First things I like to do is just be observant of my surroundings, make sure we don't have any rust or corrosion anywhere, nothing's leaking. You have the extra number 60 right there. We take a look at the pressure. Fan center relay, high limit aquastat. There's our gas valve. This is our block vent switch, spill switch, automatic vent damper. And down in this corner, that's our ceramic thermo disc. That's the rollout switch, ladies and gentlemen. And we service this thing every year. As you can see, it is clean. Look at that. So this should be pretty routine. <clears throat> One of uh, you 15 percenters was asking for more detail on combustion analysis. So uh, we're going to get into that in this video right here. And uh, if you're one of those 85 percenters, the best thing you can do to support this channel is hit that subscribe button. So right now, Kelvin has taken out all of the, the burners and make sure that they're all clean. No rust, no corrosion, any indication of rust on here. Is indicative of maybe the cast iron uh, block is condensing and uh, you're getting condensation dripping down or possibly even worse a uh, you know a hole crack or a leak in the heat exchanger so these all look pretty good he's also vacuuming me out the bottom of the combustion chamber and then we'll set these back into place it's a little bit tricky to do that because of this little lip right there gotta get that in there and it's a little tricky there like the wheel McLean's are so much easier you get it in there and you set it down just like that wash rinse and repeat get all the burners back in here's the burner combustion chamber plate there's that ceramic thermo disc that's a fusible link goes off on temperature you got flame roll out there it's gonna kill the safety service back in and we have ignition <clears throat> We're gonna use our Testo 320. Shout out for True Tech Tools. Uh, we get most of our technology tools from them. Right, Kelvin? Yes. And you can see, we've been here before, I got the little button. It just flew off. Where'd it go? Uh, we'll find that shortly. But there's our access port for our combustion analysis. I'm gonna turn that on. And we're gonna take the probe and stick that halfway into the flue gas. All right, I wanna take a look at those numbers. So Kelvin, people are asking about these numbers and you are the authority when okay. it comes to taking a combustion test. Right. So uh, for a boiler like this, um, where should our temperature stack or stack temperature what range should that typically be in we should well, we're, we, we technically go for about 375 to around 400 area maybe 415 at most that is correct and maybe as high as 450 yeah. and next is our o2 which is our oxygen per, um, percentage and what is that typically at that we want that between four to nine percent okay and we're at 6.2 6.3 and part of ppm seven which is now eight PPM stands for particles per million of CO, carbon monoxide. And we like to see anything under 50 as acceptable, but as close to zero as possible. Right. Uh, if you have carbon monoxide being produced by a gas burning appliance or any appliance that burns fuel, uh, you have incomplete combustion. So if I have right now, I have 13 particles per million, which is not really a lot, but closer to zero if possible. But if I had like hundreds or thousands, which we sometimes run into, 
that is a sign of incomplete combustion. And generally when you see that, it's high in number, we're gonna have a lot of carbonization forming in between the cast iron sections, the blocks of the boiler, and we'll have tons of carbon, you know, soot at the bottom of, on top of the burners and bottom of the combustion chamber. But this one is burning safely and good. And it also tells us our gross efficiency, which is 82.9%. This is in that range. Yeah, 80. Anything you would like to add, Kelvin? Um, you got pretty much all of it. Awesome. There you go. So there you have it. If you have any more further questions on doing a combustion analysis, um, this is a good example of how it should be running. This could be down a little bit. Maybe we should check the gas pressure, you know, coming out of the gas valve. <clears throat> and we have a tapping port there and we have one there so here is the inlet side right right there's an allen key actually no that does not one there oh it's not there it doesn't have one there but we have one there and we can test our gas pressure there so that's typical with kelvin we have our Testo digital manometer, but the tubing has been lost. Typical, typical, typical. The guys who work for me know that I really, I'm very anal about my tools. Even my tool bag, every tool has a certain position. Every tool. Right? Like I know that the flat screwdriver goes there. The Philip goes there. Right? This doesn't even belong in here. This is not a tip this is not part of my tool bag assortment. Right? But it's missing. Missing. Disappeared. pisses the shit out of me. Really does. Because as a technician, one of your biggest investments is your tools. And if you lose your shit, it costs you money. And in this particular case, I can't test the gas pressure. <sighs> so unfortunately it is what it is. I got my combustion analysis results printed there, along with copies of previous years. As you can see, we've been here for a while. All right, guys. I feel like, you know, like my cat just got ran over. You know, when you lose something that you need, it just pisses you off. Ugh! And don't ask why they insulated the water heater. <laughs> don't ask.